What it do, baby? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a super exciting video. I am taking this blonde hair that you see here and we are making it back my natural color. We are going back red. I am so, so, so excited for this. I've been thinking about it for the past two weeks. I just really, it was, it was time for me to go back to my natural hair. It's like once I get one thing, I want the other thing. Just how I am. <laughs> I think my hair will be a lot healthier and everything. Let me show you guys my outfit because it's actually pretty cute. I have just this one piece on. It's off my shoulders right now because it's making my armpits sweat, honestly, and they need to breathe. <laughs> I have these Topshop Joni jeans on. And then I have these booties that I wear all the time from Emerson Rose. Booty looking right, okay, okay, okay. Let's head to the hair salon. I'm at the fire alarm. I'm like walking in the building when it's going off and so it's like walking out. I laughed in the face of danger. <laughs> oh, wow, beautiful. Yo, I didn't even catch this when she actually said it, so she probably thought I was butthurt, but she said that because I was complaining to them about the hot water in my bathtub. This girl has jokes. <laughs> So we're doing a grand reveal of my hair, so I haven't seen the red yet. So I'm gonna film like my reaction and everything for you guys. I'm super excited. They keep telling me it looks so good. How cute is this little thing though that she put on my hair for me to go to the bathroom? No, I really like it. Little fuzzy pink teddy bear moment. And I got some Vietnamese iced coffee. Cheers. Oh. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. It's so wow. beautiful. I don't know what I was expecting, but it honestly wasn't this. It's pretty, huh? I love it! it looks so wow! Good. It looks so good with your skin tone. It really does. This is yeah. probably like my favorite red I've ever been. Really? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. Compose yourself. Don't cry. Don't cry. Whoever let me... Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot take this. <laughs> I thought it was gonna look good, but she like seriously exceeded my expectations of what I expected. It looks so good. <laughs> like I can't even believe this is me, honestly. I feel like I am like myself though. I feel like this is truly like, I feel like myself. I don't know if that's weird, but I'm so in love. I'm so happy. I'm just like thrilled, ecstatic, could not be any more excited for this to be my freaking hair color. I feel like it looks so much better with my skin and my eyes and everything. I'm just in love, honestly, truly like. It's gorgeous. So she did do a toner. She didn't permanent dye my hair and I totally get why. I'm sure she gets so many people in there that always think they want to dye their hair especially like a crazy color like red would be or dark brown or something when they're used to being blonde and then they might want to go back and then blonde is just so hard on your hair so in order to go back blonde after you dye your hair a different color it's really terrible for it so she was like let's just start out with a tone and then if you want to permanent dye it later we can do that but this should last me a good two months or so and I don't see myself going back blonde whatsoever, but I totally get why she wants to take the safe route. It's better safe than sorry, and I trust her with my life, so 
I'm ecstatic. I am freaking ecstatic. I feel like I'm living my best Ariel dreams, my best Jolene life. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. So I'm gonna go home and finish making some TikToks that I'm really excited about because I love a good hair transformation TikTok. It's so weird even seeing myself in this viewfinder. I'm like, who the f is that? She literally, she could not have done a better job, honestly. My sisters, I just sent them the picture, the Snapchat of my hair, and I want to see what they say. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> I hit the highway, get money to fly away. Wait. Been in H town about a week. Got a spot up a spot with a freight. On that drink, so you know a nigga can't get tongue so long that she think a nigga drink. How they get money every day of the week? Pull up in the old school, swing it on the feet, just swing it. And you know I got the speakers banging, let me hear you sing it. Wanna be a I'm literally freaking starving at this point. I'm so hungry. I don't know why I do this. I know that I need to eat, and I just continue to not eat until I'm about to pass out. Why does it have to get to that point? I don't know, but I'm gonna have this banana. I haven't went grocery shopping all week. I've just been, you know, just playing it by ear, eating when I can, ordering food, making meals out of whatever I have in the fridge. It's been uh, kind of all over the place. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My life is a series of me running late for absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. What was I doing for this past two hours? Absolutely nothing. I was just trying to um, order some food. That's what I was trying to do. But DoorDash just randomly canceled my order. Didn't send me a notification that it was canceled. Didn't send me a text, nothing. Just I'm sitting there waiting for my food, wondering where it is, log on to the app, and it's canceled. Mind you, I was starving when I ordered it, so now I'm very angry. Swing through Smoothie King before my nail appointment and get a large smoothie. Hopefully they accept me to my nail appointment because I'm probably gonna be running a little bit late there. I'm definitely going to do some valentines -ness for my nails. I'll probably get red on my toes, which I know is a very, very common nail color for your toes but i have never gotten red on my toes ever it's just kind of not really me red isn't really me i'm more of like a brighter color kind of girl I'm usually strictly pink toes but i thought it would just be cute and festive with my hair and valentine's day coming up not that i'll be doing absolutely anything except loving myself on valentine's day but you know um so update on my date it was really weird actually you guys want to know the story we had a great dinner, we had a great chat or whatever, and then the place closed, the place closed at nine that we went to, and he was just like, all right, bye, like, wasn't like trying to hang out after this, what are you doing later, none of that. And so I just got in my car and I was like, okay, well now I'm wine tipsy and gonna be all by myself. So I was on the phone with my best friend Dylan and I was like, uh, I don't know what to do, and she was like, girl, just text him and tell him that you wanna hang out, like, maybe he's shy. And I was like, okay, maybe you're right. I mean, the worst he can say is no. And then, you know, I know that he doesn't like me, so whatever. So I text him, I'm like, hey, I was too shy to tell you at dinner, but I'm not doing anything tonight if you wanna come over and watch movies. So he was like, haha, yeah, for sure, I'll come over, should I bring wine? So he came over, he brought wine. We watched like two movies together. It was fine, and it was like 3 a.m. at this point, and I was so tired, but he didn't try anything with me when i tell you he didn't try anything with me the only move that were made was me putting my head on his shoulder so i was like okay so then it was like 3 a.m and i'm like i'm so tired like you're honestly more than welcome to stay but i need to go to bed and he was like oh it's okay i have to be up early so he left i gave him a kiss on the way out and it was like he gave me one so fast he was like bye and i was like I'm so confused. And then he left and never texted me. <laughs> I was just like, okay. I don't get it because if he didn't like me, wouldn't he have not came over? And if he didn't like me and he still would have came over, maybe his intention was to be to just sleep with me and that's it. But 
He didn't do that either or even remotely try. I'm just so confused, but whatever. I'm definitely not reaching out to him again because I'm mad confused, but I was just like, all right. See, this is literally every single experience I've had on a dating app has been so trash. I can't even tell you, like, I cannot even tell you. Actually, I went on a date um, the other date that I was talking about in my Get Ready With Me. I went on this other date. He worked at NASA and that was really cool, but he was really nice and he definitely was like trying to hang out with me after but I just didn't really like feel the sexual attraction when I was at dinner so I was just like I'm not gonna continue seeing you whenever I don't really have that important element. I've been taking a lot of L's in the dating world for sure especially off of apps so I just think I'm done off of them like I don't even care. I don't even care. I've seriously never had a good experience off of a dating app not one time and I've been on a good amount of dates off there because my best friend Val found her husband on a dating app and my best friend Dylan found her husband on a dating app and I'm just like, where? Where do you guys see these great guys at? Because I can't find them. Let a bitch know. Hi, can I do the vegan dark chocolate banana, a large? Is that all? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So yeah, that's basically my sob story as a dating life. <laughs> these bloody dees. This movie is so big. It's bigger than my head. I got to my hair appointment and like one of the first things I told my hair stylist was, do you smell me? <laughs> Can you smell me? Do you smell my perfume? And she was like, yes. <laughs> it's like, okay, good. <laughs> Honestly, it's just a new perfume and I wanted to make sure it had good Ciliage is what they call it. The ciliage is when if people around you can smell you or if you have to be like kissing your someone's neck to smell the fragrance, which obviously is gonna do me no good because clearly I ain't got nobody trying to kiss my neck right now. So I just got to one of my favorite places to eat at. It's called Local Foods in Houston. I got a pineapple lemonade. So I'm gonna try it, I haven't tried it yet. Ooh, a little bit sour, but really good. Apparently it has turmeric in it too. I got this vegan clam chowder. It's delicious, I get it every single time. And I ordered this new, uh, like egg salad sandwich. Apparently it's vegan. It's like a pretzel bun. It looks so good. I am about to go in dance class, but I am so freaking tired. If you're a girl, you know the struggle is real when you go to the hair salon and the nail salon in the same day. It just really takes it out of you for some reason. It's just like a whole event, but I'm here. I'm gonna walk my little happy ass in there. Can we just talk about really fast the fact that I backed into this parking lot, parking space? Not me with a whole backup camera hyping myself up for backing into a parking spot. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna do my best, and I will get back to y'all. Bean, I am seriously beat. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Ow, ow, my hair. I'm seriously so tired, like I could fall asleep right here, right now on this couch. I am going to take Bean out and then I am going to go straight. Psycho, I'm glad one of us is alive. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best means the world to me and hopefully i will see you in the next video bye guys can you say bye can you say bye say bye say bye and i'll throw it say bye bean <laughs> say bye stupid stupid that's why you dumb <laughs> I can't miss Diamonds on the neck and on my wrist Now they tryna get me out of mix That's why me and Bo